Hello everyone and welcome back to how to install Mac OS X Mountain Lion within VirtualBox. Now if you missed the last uh, video explaining this, what we did was we managed to install the actual operating system. But now in this video we're just going to be sorting out a few little problems that have came up. <coughs> so um, the biggest one being we don't have sound. Uh, another fairly big one is that the resolution isn't quite big enough. And also uh, we have to boot up using a hack boot file. And if we want a standalone uh, boot fi uh, boot system, then we need to change a few things. But anyway, to fix some of these problems, we need a program called MultiBeast. So if you just head over to the link in the description and then just uh, follow what I do here. So here is the page for MultiBeast. So just scroll down and press Download MultiBeast. Okay, so as you can see, there is a message that comes up saying that you're not logged in. And this is a bit annoying, you do have to create an account, but you know, it's not the end of the world, so if we just get on with it, I've already got an account, so it doesn't really matter, so. <coughs> okay, so now that we've logged in, we've got a list of all of the available downloads. <coughs> so uh, if we just scroll down, as you can see, there's a uh, few different multi-beast uh, download options. The obvious one to go for would be Mountain Lion, as that's what we're running within VirtualBox. But actually, the one that we're going to need is the one for Snow Leopard. I know that this is a bit weird, but it has all the options that we need. So uh, if you just go ahead and download that one, if you want it to work the way that it does on mine. So uh, you can press download and it will get it going. I've already, uh, I've already got this, so I can just cancel this download. But if you just... Uh, wait for you to download and then we can carry on so once it's downloaded just open up your downloads folder and open the folder that's uh, been downloaded you should have three files we just want to open multibeast and as uh, you can see it opens ok but for a few of you you will have an error come up saying that uh, that it, you can't open it because it's from an unidentified developer I'm guessing this will happen to most of you because it's normally off by default. So to sort this out, just open System Preferences, go head over to Security and Privacy, press this lock here, enter your password, and as you can see, I've set it so uh, applications can be downloaded and installed from anywhere. But uh, for most of you, this will be by default set on Mac, App Store, and Identified Developers if you haven't changed it. <coughs> So um, yeah, you just want to make sure that you change it to anywhere, then you can allow from anywhere and just lock it again. Once that's done, we can continue. Just press continue a few times, agree to all the licenses, and just say that we want it installed on our Mac OS X Mountain Lion hard disk. Now this is where there's a few different options to select what we want. So what I'm going to do is just pause the video and then uh, I'll show you exactly what we need. Okay, so now I've just selected all of the files that we need to install. So uh, what you want to install is user DSD install, system utilities, you want both of those checked. Now what you want to do is expand drivers and bootloaders, text and enablers, audio, Realtek ALC8, and then you just want to check Apple HGA rollback. And once you've just checked that one, that's uh, the first like individual file that we need to select. And the other one is under miscellaneous. Then if you just scroll down, you'll be able to see one called null CPU power management. And you just want to check that one as well. Now that's all of them that we need, so we can just go ahead and press continue. Press install. And we just have to enter our password. Press install software. And now we've got the installation. So uh, once again, I'm just going to pause the video, then come back when it's finished, just to save a bit of time. So uh, if you just wait for yours to install, then it should be done. Right, so now we've successfully installed MultiBeast, we can continue with fixing any little problems. So the next thing that I want to fix is that we can't do like a standalone boot. We still have to have a hack boot file in, um, in the virtual box settings. So uh, to fix that, we can just close out of this installation. Okay, so now if we just open Finder at the bottom left of the dock. And now just at the top on the menu bar, press Go. And then press on Go To Folder. 
Now here you want to type in forward slash system slash library slash extensions and then go. Now here as you can see we come up with an extensions folder with loads of dot kext files. Now there's just one of these that we need to delete and it will uh, sort out the booting up problem. So what we want to do is go down to Apple the graphics control dot kext. So if we just look for that and here it is just here. So what we want to do is just press move to trash on this and just enter our password and now what we want to do is just right click on the trash folder and press empty trash now that we've done that that's uh, pretty much all set up so now we should be able to press control uh, right control and F then go to devices at the top CD DVD devices and now if we press hackboot 2.iso this will remove the disk from the virtual drive and hopefully this will uh, all work right so now as you can see it looks like we're still working okay so that means that this has worked so now the final problem that I said is about the resolution not being uh, good enough so the easiest way to find out your resolution or one of the ways is if you just uh, go onto the internet and search what resolution is my uh, display and as you can see I'm 1366 by 768 so we just need to remember that for later okay so now that we know our screen resolution we can now open up the finder and uh, once again go to go go to folder now this time you want to type in slash extra then open the file org.chameleon.boot.plist and now you should open it should open with a text editor what we want to do is um, add a, a new uh, bit of code to this file just above where it says uh, slash DICT. So what we want to add is this, just copy this out. And uh, here this is where you'll type in whatever resolution you want, so that's what we found out earlier. So for me it was 1366 by uh, 768 I believe, I'll just double check that. And yes it was, so you can uh, this, and also you have to put by 32. That's the uh, colours that we'll be using, and then just put slash string again. So that's all uh, set up. So now we can go file, save, and now that isn't quite fully set up. It's set up within the Mac, but just to uh, have it working, we do have to do something within Windows for it to work. Okay, so now you want to press the start button type cmd and then open up the command prompt to finish setting up the graphics for the Mac type cd for change directory and then type in whatever your directory was that you installed VirtualBox in I'm guessing for most of you it will be this but just double check then press enter and then type in this command vbox manage then set extra data now type in the name of your virtual machine for me it was OSX Mountain Lion. Close the quotes. Now type custom video model once again in quotes. Now type in uh, the resolution that you entered. Close the quotes, press enter and now that's all set up so we can close out of this and now you can open up your virtual machine and it will all be working at the resolution that you entered so I really hope that you enjoyed this video um, like I said a load of stuff will be in the description to help you there'll be some links uh, links to the previous video if you didn't get it installed properly 
Uh, please like the video, it really helps, it sends me some feedback and it helps other people watch it. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.